seems like all you hear guitar instructors talk about these days is triads. Out of all the triad lessons I've ever seen and are out there, there's really only one that stuck with me, and it's from this guy. So I recently bought these videos that Larry Carlton made with Hal Leonard back in 1989 and 1992. And in this one, he shows off what he calls the super arpeggio. So the super arpeggio is really just a system of stacking major and minor triads on top of each other. And you can do minor on top of major too. We'll talk about all of that, but it's really gonna be a way that we can get out of playing the pentatonics and sound more sophisticated with our improvising. So what you heard me playing was basically like a minor blues progression, A minor, D minor, and E minor. And I can use this super arpeggio triad stacking method over that to give me really endless possibilities. So before we jump in, this is a PRS SE DGT and you may have seen me playing this a bit on the channel I did a demo with it I've used it in some other videos and we're about to hit 70,000 subscribers on the channel and I love celebrating milestones with a great guitar giveaway so click the link below enter to win this very PRS SE DGT one of the most talked about guitars of 2023 and you can enter to win it, so click below. And I was playing a really interesting overdrive pedal too. It's a really basic circuit. It's basically like a blues breaker style pedal. It's called the Chat Breaker from Rev, and Rev did sort of a goof or a spoof and said, hey, what if we asked Chat GPT to design a pedal for us? They did, apparently it got about 75% of the way there. They took it across the finish line and from what I know, this is the first AI designed overdrive pedal. So I'll put a link below to the chat breaker. You can check that out. You can also grab the track for free. You know I love giving you guys that stuff. So let's jump in and talk about how we're gonna use this super arpeggio or triad stacking to get us out of the pentatonic world. Let's do it. <laughs> So let's say you know triads all over the guitar, but you haven't been able to make much music with them. I empathize with that because this isn't very appealing to me. Let's say we're playing an A minor triad. You might be saying to yourself, I don't know how to use that or put that into a solo. Well, if as long as you know those shapes and more, i.e. the triads all over the guitar, we'll be in business. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take an A minor chord and we're gonna do a sequence of playing a minor triad and a major triad, then a minor triad and a major triad. And all of those triads will work and give you lots of interesting sounds over the A minor chord, okay? So we play that A minor. And I'm going to take an A minor triad, A, C, E. We know all of those notes work really well against that chord because those are the notes that make the chord. Now, if we take the third, which is C, and we play a major triad off of that, C, E, G. We are also playing notes that work really well over that chord. So we had a minor, major off the third. Let's do another minor off of the third of that chord, which would be E, and then E, G, B. So in that little area, we have all these fun sounds. A minor, C major, E minor. And we didn't do this once. Okay, so A minor, C major, E minor. And we can do it in other spots like here. A minor, C major, E minor, G major. See if I went minor, major off the third, minor off the third, major off of that third. What you're doing is every time you go up, you're adding one new sound to an A minor chord. And you're implying a chord, like an A minor, an A minor seven, an A minor nine, an A minor 11, 
and all of those tones you're able to get in this way. So what we're gonna do is play just the A minor portion of that minor blues, and I'll, I'll pick around and I'll talk through what we're doing, and I think it's gonna open your eyes and your ears. So I have an A minor loop set up here for us so that we can really flesh out these triads over top of the chord. It's a really great way to do it so you're just hearing how the notes work, picking which ones you like and you don't like because the further you take this, the more outside it gets and it doesn't always have a, a tone that is centered and pleasing, but it's still correct you just have to resolve it, okay? So you'll also see how they're very closely related to the minor pentatonic scale, um, and it's a great approach. It just makes a lot of sense once you know your triad. So I'm gonna roll this, and we'll, we'll talk you through it. So let's just play an A minor triad. Perfect. Now the next one be a C major. That's C, E, D. And I'm getting that flat seven. Sounds really good. I could go to the next triad, which would be E minor. Now it's starting to sound more interesting because we added the ninth. these melodies blues answer with it it'll sound really fun like you're going back and forth between these concepts and blues you can play it anywhere wherever you can find those triads you can do it like here's A minor, C major, E minor, and then G. It gets a little more interesting as you go up. You can do it here. You can go even higher, add the sixth or the 13th. It'll sound kind of weird. Remember what I said, as you start to extend this sequence of minor, major, minor, major triad on top of one another, you will get some more outside tones that you might want to reel in. But I stick to the close to the vest and, and really land on some of the, the nines and the elevenths that I hear that sound really good against this chord. You know, it's a pretty cool thing. Now, what we're gonna do is let me bring in the whole minor blues uh, progression, and then we can do it over each chord so it gets even bigger, but it's really, really fun and useful. Let's do that. So now I have the entire form pulled up, so we're going to play A minor, D minor, and E minor in our 12 bar blues form, and we can target each one of those chords with this triad approach, A minor, We can do D minor here if we wanted to. We can go here. You can do fun stuff for E minor. Here I went through those chords in a really, really fun way. Um, it's triads, not arpeggios. They start calling it arpeggios when you add a fourth note. So let that be the difference if you have questions about it. And you're like, wow, you're jumping around a lot there, chasing those chords. Well, in my mind, I figured out where all of those live on the guitar, and I can jump to them relatively quickly. And more so, I've learned minor, major, minor, major, minor, major. Minor, major, minor, major. over an E minor, for instance, my brain is just set ready to go and snag those. It takes a while, but you can do it. All right, so let's play through the track, and I'll walk you through it slowly. A minor. Blues. How about a D minor? Back to blues.
I could do it here, eh? Mix and match it with a pentatonic. I have a D minor here. That was all blues. E minor, D minor. Now over the whole thing, I could play all blues. Maybe I do it approaching. Yeah, yeah, something like that. So you see how I'm mixing and matching those ideas to get, you know, sort of a on again, off again, triad, blues, pentatonic idea happening. And if you listen to like guys like Larry Carlton, he jumps around the neck in these really melodic ways and not just over a minor blues, over lots of different songs. And I think you're going to get a lot of mileage, I know I already have, just exercising these concepts. Play one chord, find a loop that you can do with just one chord, work it out, see what speaks to you, and then you'll be using your triads in a whole new way. So that's my story on triads and I'm sticking to it because it's made the most sense to me out of all the stuff I've ever seen on triad lessons. Triads are great to really learn the fretboard, you'll get some melodic improvising out of them, but this method kind of takes it to a new place and one that I think you're probably hearing in your head but you have yet to sort of wrap your hands around. And don't let anyone tell you that you can't use scales and triads, vice versa, it's all coming from the same place. So make sure you take advantage of all the stuff that you've been working on so hard to improvise your own great solos. Make sure you grab the track below so you can practice these triads along with me and don't forget you can enter to win this PRS SEDGT, this very guitar. We're giving it away, loads of tones, it's really, really killer. And if any of this was helpful at all and you dig the lessons, be sure and subscribe to the channel because we do it all the time and your support really helps. We're gonna get to 70,000 and beyond with the help of folks like you. All right, we'll see you on the next one.